Each day is unique. But when the job could be the difference between life and death, not everyone can handle the heat of being a firefighter. But for some, the biggest battle wasn't always with the flames. To start, could I just have you say your name and your title? My name is Susie Olson. I'm a captain of the Superior Fire Department. Captain Olson has worked at the Superior Fire Department for 22 years. This February, she, Abby Dolson, and Brina Colquist made history, becoming the first ever all-female firefighter crew in Superior, something Olson never thought possible. My first six years on the job, I felt very discriminated against and uh, almost didn't want to come to work some days. I used to go and do talks to non-traditional career days for girls, and I, at one point I stopped because I kept thinking to myself, I don't want other girls to have to come here and experience this. According to the United States Bureau of Labor, only 5% of career firefighters are women. Captain Olson says when she began, the majority of men did not want a woman in their workplace. I was left alone in fires. If I ever asked for any help, I was called weak and a lot of other really nasty names. But because of Olson, Dolson had the courage to pursue her dream career. And now the Superior Fire Department is ahead of the national average with 11% women working. So I saw my dad and a lot of my family members who were volunteers. This is something I've always wanted to do, so I was kind of looked up to Susie and Lindsay. So now getting to work under Susie is really, really cool. Colquist thought she would pursue a career in politics. And then I realized that wasn't going to be my skill set and that this job was my ability to connect with the community and uh, serve them. In ways Olson believes that go beyond the job description. Us girls out in the rigs driving around town and other other girls in the community are going to see us and they're going to say wow I can do that. Even if you're a news reporter. Over the last six years, we've seen about a 10% increase in the amount of female students coming through. Taylor Stiller is a professional advisor at Lake Superior College. Firefighting is one of their several emergency response training programs. The school offers all the requirements to become a career firefighter. We are one of the only programs in like the Midwest area, so a lot of um, students not only in the Northland but in the state of Minnesota as well as in Wisconsin are coming to LSC. Including Captain Olson. It wasn't until I was in college and I realized they had a training program in Duluth then I was like huh I want to give this a shot. Still Olson says after the education questions remain unanswered in the industry. What about the gear fitting the gear to the female body uh, we're the research. We need more research on what it is for women to be pregnant while they're fighting fires or breastfeeding. According to Olson, another common problem women encounter in the industry is the lack of a female locker room. One paramedic firefighter, Christy McCormick, and the first female hired at the Hibbing Fire Department in 2001 faced in her early career. They had a single stall bathroom and a single urinal, and then it had um, just like a big round hand washing station. Five years later, the department headquarters got a makeover, adding a women's locker room. McCormick was the only woman for 13 years, but now Hibbing, like Superior, surpasses the national average consisting of roughly 14 percent women. I don't know that anybody here was ever prepared for me to come on board, let alone the next five. So when they did add on and they added the locker room upstairs, it's very small. But consideration comes with a cost. Hibbing is in the process of creating a new public safety building, which McCormick hopes includes an upgraded space. But in this place and time, all can agree it's not about the description of the position. The shift has gone from fireman to firefighter. The glorification. The female students are wanting to make sure that they're just a part of the crew. Or separation. We do the same job. We're expected to do the same job. But appreciation for how far they've come. My story will never be their story, and I'm so proud of that. Blazing ahead. Madison Green, Northern News Now.